video I'm going to show you how to screen share in a Zoom meeting on a MacBook. So first of all you want to open up Zoom and find your either scheduled meeting that you have or create your new meeting. So I'm going to open up your meeting that you can join. And it usually asks about computer audio and then you can invite um, students down here or use your preset one that you've already got. So you've got all your options down the bottom here, mute, stop video, invite, manage participants, share screen, chat, record and reactions and your, of course your end meeting. So to share screen, there are two ways that I have used share screen before. The first is using um, Osmo. So what that is, is it looks like an Osmo base and the Osmo reflector. And I've used Osmo before in my classroom for maybe three or four years. Um, and they have released this free app called Osmo Projector. And what that means is it uses the reflector and the base to then project work that's in front of it um, onto your device. So in this case, a MacBook. So I'm gonna show you that way first. So I'm going to click on share screen and then it's going to ask me how I would like to share my screen. Now there's a whiteboard option that has it built in, but I don't want that option. I'm actually going to use via AirPlay. So I'm going to click on share and it's then going to tell me where to go to on my device. So on my iPad here next to me, I'm going to click on screen mirroring. I'm going to click on zoom for Jordan's MacBook Air and it will then bring up my screen on the um in the meeting and then i'm going to click on osmo projector and it will then bring it up on here i'm going to click on start and then it's got um, my piece of paper here in front of the screen and i can then write um, things on it And it will then bring it up and I could ask my students what number is missing and then they could see and they could tell me too and I can fill that in on my um, piece of paper. Now there is a really slight delay between what it sees and the airplay for this um, for the session uh, but it does show everything that you would like it to do. You could use this for modeling, you could use it for um, sentences, writing, brainstorming, letter formation, anything you want and it projects it off. So I'm just going to click stop share for that one. There are other ways or other apps that I use as well um, for screen sharing. So Osmo is a new way that I have just um, figured out and used. But before that, I was screen sharing using Seesaw. And the reason why I, view, I use Seesaw is because Seesaw has the built-in drawing tool, which I love about it. And I use that um, with my kids. My kids use it. And it's a great way of modeling activities or showing them what I want them to do uh, on Seesaw and the activity um, that I might be explaining to them. So the same thing applies. You're going to click on screen share, so share screen. Then you're going to click on via AirPlay and click share. Then it's going to ask you again, it's going to say you need to connect. Then it's going to bring it up. Cool. Now this time I'm going to go to Seesaw. So I'm going to click down the bottom, I'm going to click Seesaw. And then I'm going to click add and then post student work and then I'm going to click drawing and I've been using this to model with my kids um, I've had activities set up down the side here using the multi page um, that I flick between so for example we might be doing some handwriting and I might be modeling the letter for them um, on here for them to see in the session um, then we might be doing some writing so I might write a sentence for them a sentence starter and they can follow that along um, but then they can also see me in the session um, on the right of your screen uh, they can see my work and they can see me as well and at any point I can stop sharing by clicking stop share or I could swap to different apps or show them different activities for example if I was modeling so just for an example if I was modeling an activity I could be saying, right, your activity for the week, one of them is making sets here. So that first one, you're going to choose your name first. And then this is how we do the activity. So it's really good for showing students how to do the work. So if, say, for example, we're wanting to make three. So they would drag out the right number of donuts 
um, and you could model it that way. Um, I'm going to delete that. So I predominantly use um, seesaw drawing. I have that open. And why I prefer to use seesaw drawing over, say, the whiteboard and Zoom is because it's really hard to mouse control, draw, or write with a keyboard um, in your mouse trackpad. I like to be able to write like I would normally and have them be able to see that, especially with letter formation. Um, and Osmo is really good for that as well if you didn't have this capability. So there's two different ways there. I'm just going to stop screen sharing. Um, so a third way that you could use uh, screen sharing is with just your iPad, like I did before, and have the camera open. So I'm going to show you that um, really quickly. Now the reason why I have that set up like that is because then it is like a bird's eye view looking down and what I've got here which you can't see but it's a iPad stand um, and I place my iPad in it and then what it does is it films everything that's below it okay so now I'm going to uh, share my screen from my iPad again so let's just click share screen connect via airplay so I'm going to connect it up Awesome. Okay, so now this time I'm going to open up the camera. And the camera is then going to project everything that's down here um, in front of my camera space. So this is really handy for if you are reading books or if you want to show them something in particular that um, is right in front this way because sometimes reading a book like this um, they can't really see the words especially if you wanted to draw attention to something so you're just going to place the book down in front and then it will pick it up and show everyone the text the pictures you could draw attention to certain parts of the story you could read the story and then people in the meeting will be able to see the words and also um, hear your voice too which is really helpful for them especially if you're doing um, work around a book so i'm just going to stop sharing that um, so i hope those uh, ideas and ways have helped you um, a little bit with how to screen share. Again, I use Osmo Base because I have one here. I also have used my uh, iPad and I am using iPad to Mac. So I don't really know how it would work with um, any other devices, Windows or HP, Chromebooks and things like that. I'm sure there would be a way, but for um, iPad to MacBook, you could use AirPlay. And uh, I strongly use Seesaw for modeling, um, the drawing part, because you can just delete it. You don't have to assign it to anybody. You can just delete the work once you've done. And then also Osmo with the paper is really handy for drawing as well for your students. So I hope that helps. If you've got any ideas or any questions, let me know.